Hello and welcome to this learning video and I am back with a very interesting problem of this uh, topic solution of difference equation by Z transform. So why uh, I am going to take this uh, problem in this uh, video lecture because sometimes uh, when you solve this problem uh, you it doesn't click on our mind that uh, we have to do this or that it's a very simple problem although it looks uh, a little bit difficult but is this, it is the easiest problem and the motto behind taking this problem is that you should uh, know that uh, this problem can be solved like this okay don't go for the partial fraction and other method okay so let us start with this problem so here we have a problem solve yn plus 2 minus 2 cos alpha yn plus 1 plus yn is equal to 0 and conditions are given to you y0 is 1 and y1 is equal to cos alpha right and we have to solve this by using z transform so how we are going to start with we are going to start with the given equation the given equation is The given equation is yn plus 2 minus 2 cos alpha yn plus 1 plus yn is equal to 0. So we have written the given equation. Now what next we can do? Just take the z transform. Taking z transform taking z transform on both sides we get so what will be getting after taking z transform so this is z transform of yn plus 2 minus 2 cos alpha z transform of y n plus 1 plus z transform of y n z transform of 0 is 0 ok now we have uh, while taking the z transform we have applied linearity property over here by taking constant outside and taking z transform of the sequence of functions ok now for the sequences now we are going to you make use of the shifting property so as I said, it's uh, better to uh, write down this shifting property uh, before using it to avoid uh, any silly mistake. So this is using using Z transform of F of N plus K is same as Z power K in bracket we have F of Z minus F zero minus f1 by z minus f2 by z minus and so on okay depending on the value of k we'll be having number of terms if k is 1 we have only one term if k is 2 we have two terms and so on that we have already seen okay now apply this to the last equation what i can write k equal to 2 so I will write the first term as z square into y of z minus y of 0 minus y1 by z. Okay, this completes the z transform of the first term. Minus 2 cos alpha, z transform of this. So here k is equal to 1. So z power 1 into y of z minus y of 0 this complete z transform of this and then write down the z transform of this that is y of z okay now try to solve this so value of y0 is 1 so you can write here but y0 is equal to 1 and y1 is equal to cos alpha y1 is equal to cos alpha so this implies what is it z square into y of z 
माइनस वन माइनस कॉस अल्फा बाय जेड ओके माइनस टू कॉस अल्फा इनटू जेड वाई ऑफ जेड माइनस वाई जीरो इज वन प्लस वाई ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेरी सिंपल नाउ जस्ट लुक हियर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय जेड स्क्वायर आई विल बी गेटिंग जेड स्क्वायर वाई ऑफ जेड माइनस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस कॉस अल्फा जेड नाउ हियर इट इज माइनस टू कॉस अल्फा जेड इनटू y of z minus minus plus two cos alpha z. Okay. Now the next thing is y of z is equal to zero. It is okay up to this. Now collect the like terms. So what are the like terms that we will collect here? We collect the terms of y of z. These terms. Okay. So let me rub this now. <coughs> When you collect the like terms, what I am having here is z square. Then I am having this minus two cos alpha z. Then plus one, and the common term is y of z. Okay. Then we have this. Z square, so I am taking it to the right. So minus Z square will become plus Z square. Now you look at these two terms. One is the cos alpha Z and the two cos alpha Z. So what is this? Cos alpha Z, cos alpha Z plus two minus one. So this is plus one. When we take it to the left, so it becomes minus of Minus of cos alpha z, is it? Two minus one is one cos alpha z. Okay, so now it is like y of z is equal to z square minus cos alpha z upon z square minus two cos alpha z plus one. Now most of the students <laughs> do up to this, and they uh, end up this problem uh, like this, and they are not able to proceed it further. They think like uh, how to make it uh, product of uh, factors, linear factors, and how I am going to apply the partial fraction and so on. Because in the other problems we do like this only, right? But here. Don't uh, do something like that. Actually, this is nothing but the standard formula. Of Z transform, okay. So this is the uh, standard formula. So you can directly write on taking on taking inverse Z transform on taking inverse Z transform on both side inverse Z transform on both sides we get. So what I will be getting, I will be getting it as z inverse of what is it? Z inverse of y of z is same as z inverse of z square minus cos alpha z upon z square minus two cos alpha z plus one. Okay. So this is nothing but y n is equal to what is this? This is the standard formula. So z inverse of this is nothing but cos alpha z. Not cos alpha z. Cos n alpha. Okay. 
so you see this is very simple problem but sometimes it doesn't click at the time of examination or when you solve the problems that's why i have taken this problem very easy but it is like handle with care type of problem so this is the required solution okay so i hope the problem that we have taken over here is clear to you and uh, the things uh, or here that have been discussed if you have any doubt you can ask so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics and this completes this uh, chapter over here so thank you